spun that around way too quick. I'm still getting used to this gimbal. Hey, uh, welcome to the Traveling Bricks exhibition here in uh, Brockville. Well, been seeing this on Facebook a lot. We'll uh, see who doesn't like Lego, right? Like, so let's check it out. Unfortunately, the Lego guy out here, he's not made it a Lego. So if you know anything about aviation, you know this is the Concorde. Built in the 1960s, it's a 140th scale, 12,050 pieces. Everybody knows this airplane, 747 in KLM Livery. Uh, again, 140th of a scale, 21,500 pieces. And when I say 140th of a scale, that means that for every foot in length of that model, it's 40 feet in the real world. This is the HMCS of Victory, built around the turn of the century, the 1800s. Uh, still on display in uh, England now. Over 200 year old wooden sailing ship, 22,500 pieces. And these are all uh, built from imagination. These aren't built from kits. You can see the split in the middle right there ahead of the mast where the model comes apart for uh, so it can be moved around. There's a lot of other displays here. They were, however, they were behind glass and uh, way too much reflection with the camera. So just went with the stuff that was out in the open. The Maersk Line cargo ship. Uh, no specific ship, just one in general. 50,000 pieces of Lego used to make up this one. Again, 140 the scale. Everything like this seemed to be 140 the scale. So we didn't even need the name on the front of that to know what ship this is. This was massive. 200,000 pieces of Lego. All built from somebody's imagination. And incredibly detailed as well. All the windows below the deck are actual individual pieces. Nothing is painted on. Now, unfortunately, what it doesn't say at these displays, like the Titanic, 200,000 pieces, really doesn't look like 200,000 pieces of Lego. So one can only assume the interiors were modeled as well. Um, however, there was no pictures or explanation to say that. Little person hanging out on the deck there looking out. See all the individual pieces of Lego there when we get zoomed in a little bit. And up in the bow, do we recognize those two? And uh, it's just not one side that's modeled, both sides are modeled with the same amount of detail. Sputnik satellite, first artificial satellite launched into orbit. I don't know how many pieces it was, there was no label there for it. Next to hover is Volstock 1, 6,500 pieces again, 140 to scale. This was the rocket that put Yuri Gagarin, the first human being, into outer space. This one needs no introduction. US Space Shuttle, uh, 140 to scale again. 19,000 pieces of Lego put this one into it. And when I back away here, you can just see how big that is. That was about four and a half feet tall at least. Saturn V rocket, the rocket that took man to the moon. Uh, now, ironically with this one, I was really surprised. There's only 26,500 pieces, which would lead me to believe there's a lot of big pieces of Lego in this. I would have expected to see this one well over the 100,000 mark unless it was just mislabeled. Or unless for some reason that doesn't count the launch tower. Either way, it was over 10 feet tall. 
So the traveling Lego exhibit has moved on from Brockville. So if you didn't get a chance to see it, well, this video is about the only opportunity you're going to have. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.